Thanks for tuning in to your day off podcast, hosted by your boys, Corey and Tony. I think by the end of today, I might have another best friend. They're committed to making you fall in love with the hair industry, one podcast at a time. Uh, you're going to grab a lot of information. Yeah, you're going to learn a lot. Presented by Hair Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Your day off podcast will begin after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to your day off. My name is Corey and I'm sitting with my friend, Katie. She won't let me tell, call her my best friend anymore. So, uh, uh, well, neither will Tony. Tony won't let me call her her best friend either, but, 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 uh, but, but welcome back, welcome back to the podcast. Um, you know, we're doing this series. Um, it's just, uh, basically it's just the learns that we've learned while, you know, um, hosting events and, and how kind of, you know, step-by-step step how we've done it. I mean, the last podcast we talked about, um, just, you know, the questions that people have asked about how to do this. And we have so many people that kind of blow up our, our, our DMS, like in desperation, like, Oh my God, how'd you do this? Or how'd you do that? So or many learns that we want to share. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And today we're going to talk about, and honestly, if you don't listen to anything else in this, um, in this series, uh, understand that none of this happens without relationships, 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 relationships. It's all about the relationships and, and, and who are those relationships? Honestly, it's every single person that, that you can possibly touch. Um, here's a little, uh, here's a little like secret stuff that secret sauce that we've done. Um, certainly if you're looking for like a brand relationship or if you're looking for a relationship with an artist, it's imperative that you show up, um, where they are and where they are uh, nine times out of 10 is they're at the big hair shows you know most of the brands and most of the artists what's great about that especially if 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 you're looking to network in this way is that everybody is there so the brands are there the artists are there the brands bring the artists there um and that's that's where you're going to have to connect on I, I don't know any other kind of way to like uh to, to to do it other than that um and and with that you definitely want to show up on saturday so listen most shows are sunday and monday um and the the brands and the artists are super 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 mega busy when you're there um if most most of the uh, the certainly the artists are just rushing stage to stage to stage to stage. And there's not just a lot, there's not a lot of space for them to chat with you or, you know, they're late for lunch or they're late for dinner. They're late for something. Um, so I, my recommendation is to show up on Saturdays and get to know um, the people that are, that are putting the booths together, get the, get to know the people that, that, that are there that day early, because those are the people that can help you navigate certainly through the brands. You know, you meet people in the booth for the brands. Um, those are the people that, 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 that you need to meet and you need to create a relationship with. Now, that being said, um, I know like when we meet people and if I feel like there's a, this is a transactional conversation, I lose interest quick. Um, I think that it's really mega important to, um, to just have a relationship and, and, you know, look for a friendship, look for a relationship with those people that are inside and the artists. Well, and when thinking about the brands and the people that you want to work with, they need to be, you know, on in line with your mission and what you want to do, you know, don't just like try to meet people because they're, you know, higher up in a brand or someone that you think you can get something from. You need to start on, you know, the relationship level and just start introducing yourself to people so people know who you are and what you're trying to do. I mean, I think that's a really key, important part of this that if, a, a you know, the relationship part of it is just so important and it needs to be nailed, you know, from jump. Yeah, it, it definitely has to be nailed from jump. And, and, you know, my, listen, I've never, and this is just the God's honest truth. And this is just my style is that I've never like, uh, I mean, Katie makes fun of me a lot because I will talk to anybody and everybody and, and, and she makes fun of me about it, but, but that's just who I am, you know? And, and when it comes to like, you know, meeting different people at the brands and stuff, I never kind of think of it transactionally. Like, like, it's just about who can I meet, you know, who can I meet? And then, you know, six months down the road, a year down the road, a couple of years down the road, you know, I might have an idea like, Oh, you know what? I have this friendship at, you know, X brand and, and they really fit here. Um, let me reach out to them. And, and if you've created this friendship now, and this is also super imperative and I hope, well, it's super imperative is that you, and this has been a big learn for the last year. Um, I hope I've teased it enough now, <laughs> but you really need somebody inside of the brand that's going to advocate for you. 
it yeah. definitely has to be somebody that believes in what you're doing and what your vision is. Or like I said, just even somebody that's willing to advocate for you. Listen, it's a really good person. This is a really good, um, this is a really good thing. And you need those things. There are zero relationships within a brand. All relationships are with people within a brand. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's getting to know the people that 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 are willing to advocate for you because a brand is nothing without the people that are. And running. brands change all the time. People turn over all the time. Well, the people inside the brands, yeah, yeah. They, they they change all the time, and you know that's and you know when when that first happened to us a few times actually, like I was kind of bummed. Out. I was like, oh man, my friend Katie was at X brand, and now Katie's not there anymore. Um, but then guess what? She pops up at another brand. Now I've got an advocate in the other brand, and hopefully, um, I, I've I've um or Katie can actually introduce me to a new contact mm -hmm. at, at, at her former brand. So it's actually where at first it looks like a little bit like a lemons you know, it definitely can uh, turn into lemonade because it just, it actually broadens your, for you sure. know, your grab. And have the patience. Like it takes time to build relationships. But if you skip that part, you are going to spend or waste, I should mm -hmm. say, most of your time trying to get those relationships. Well, we've never sent out a cold email and said, hey, we're doing this cool event and we've gotten a response from it. it's always been because we have a connection inside of the brand. It's always because we have a friend inside the brand mm -hmm. or, or somebody that's willing to advocate for us. Um, but that and that always happens, you know, when you build when you build these relationships without a transactional outcome. You know, like, yeah, don't go in with the transactional outcome. I mean, this, this is this has certainly been what's what's worked for us. But here's the other thing, too, that nobody really talks about is like once you have once you have kind of relationships within a brand or you have relationships with people like you can kind of vet it. You know, like you kind of mentioned a little bit, but like, is this even the right, is this even the right brand or the right person, you know, for this event that we're doing? Because maybe yeah. it's not. And, 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 and brands are excellent at sniffing out like money grabs, you know, like, like, you know, what, what's that, what's that, you know, what's their ROI going to be on it? You know, um, they're, they're, they're excellent at sniffing that out. So anyways, again, all brands are done with people inside and 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 it's really important to start to create those brand uh, those brand relationships now go ahead i was just gonna say it's a little scary that's why i have Corey do it <laughs> i show up and i'm i oh hi nice to meet you after Corey's already met them mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're scared to do it like i a lot of times i'm i it's so overwhelming and overstimulating going to those things like the big like premiere and and, and all those hair shows but walking around it's um you know there's so much potential right like there's so many people within that room that you can just meet and start building relationships with and one thing that will you will be successful if you do is to try and not not to stress about failing or stress about what the relationship like or where that conversation is going to go or they're not mm -hmm. going to like me because i'm not this or they don't know me or like stop doing that it's like the same thing when you're working with a client don't spend their money for them like just introduce yourself and start and see where the conversation goes. And if you start from that place of the genuine, you know, just who you are and what you're trying to do, like to your point, people will see that brands will, will appreciate that more than someone like seeking them out for a deal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, that that's definitely been, and, 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 you know, to transition this conversation too, is like, it's the exact same approach with the artist. Right. Like, yeah. Like we have some really great relationship with artists, but you know, again, none of those have ever been done with transaction in mind. Mm -hmm. This transaction comes from from the from from those relationships. You know, that's that's what comes from from these relationships. Certainly in this space. Um. But yeah, like uh, almost all the artists that 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 we have contact with, you know, on on some level, I consider a friend. Yeah, for sure. Know? And 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 it, it's they want to help you build and they want to be a part of what you're, at least with us, they wanted to be a part of what we were doing um, because, you know, we're trying to do things a little bit different and we're trying to take everybody's uh, everybody into account, whether that's the brand, whether that's the artist or whether that's the attendees or, or you know, the, the, the beauty professionals, as people like to say, the beauty professionals, like we try to keep all of them into account and, 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 you know, we, we've had um, people that want to work with us for that. Now, you know, with that, you know, we, we got, mega lucky that Presley loved what we were doing yeah. early yeah. on. And, and, and she certainly um, was able to, was able to help guide us in, kind of in that direction. But um, 
now back to the, now back to relationship, relationship, relationships, you know, now, now that you have these relationships with brands and, and you want to do this, you know, you also need relationships or what's helpful certainly is to have relationships. And again, genuine relationships. Let, let me put the caveat out there. If I say relationships, I mean, genuine relationships, you know, not just somebody that you wave at across the street. Um, but, you know, I, I would definitely, and what's easy, easiest is to have a relationship with your um, salon manager, uh, your, uh, your, your distributorship um, managers, you know, first have it with your DSE first have a relationship with the person that comes and sees you once a month in your salon. And then secondly, you know, have, have relationships with, with the people that work at the stores. Um, a, they can kind of tell you what's going on and B, whatever, whatever, whatever. And access and access. And here's, here's also a secret. I think we might be talking about this in a little bit more depth, but um, what's really great for what's really great um, in these really with with uh, distributorship relationships is that if you're let's say your our events in April every year so we can go to the brand we can go to our Cosmoprof people I just I was trying to stay unbranded but we, we can go to our our Cosmoprof <laughs> go to your Dana Ranger <laughs> we, can, uh, we can go to our Cosmoprof reps and we can go like okay what activations are and I didn't know what an activation was when we first started this anyways yeah but it's like what are they up to right so we do April which is the first month of the second quarter so like what are they up to in the second quarter what are they releasing and now if they if those brands are if they want to uh, introduce something to the uh, to the audience now there's a little bit of ROI because not our or not all ROI is is money related sometimes it can just be what we call an activation which means like how do we get this in front of people so they can see it so they can play with it so they can use it um and, and that's and that's your your local distributors or your or your local uh, sales reps can really help you with what activations are coming and that's a little uh that's a little side door kind of slide in about how about how you can uh, start working with them um even if it's just product um and not necessarily money but you know it's it's all good it's all good it's always good to like stack your swag bag or, or to give them a space to um or to give them a space to uh, to show up in. So uh, anyway, so uh, that's our that that's our relationship 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 uh, um uh, uh, rant. Um, again, any questions with any of that kind of stuff? Uh, DM Katie. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Got anything to add, Katie? Uh, no, I think you covered all of it. Did a I stop? Lot of... I don't know if I stopped talking. Anyways, no, it's okay. Uh, anyways, uh, there we go. Relationship relationship relationships. Hopefully, you enjoy this. Uh, tune in. We're gonna um, we're gonna do um quite a few more about you know uh, what our learns have been um in the event space and and hopefully there's some value that we that we that that you get from our rant. So once again, thank you very very much for joining us on your event journey. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, share it with friends, give us a rating and drop a review to listen to all the latest podcasts. Please subscribe from your favorite podcast outlet and to stay connected on and off the show. You can follow us at hair Street on Instagram and all other social media platforms. Thanks again. And we'll see you next time. Peace and love.